The Staffordshire Hoard is, is a completely unique find. I mean, there, there literally has been nothing like it discovered before. It's what I would describe as a stash of gold and silver, um, 11 pounds of gold, something like three pounds of silver, that turned up in the hole in the ground in South Staffordshire. The hoard really speaks to us of the warrior elite of 7th century England in a way that we have previously only seen very rarely glimpsed in such exclusive burials as uh, Mound 1 at Sutton Hoo. The wealth has, has surprised just about everybody. This find was absolutely unexpected. Uh, we really are talking a, a once in a century kind of find. We're still very much at the beginning stage of, of the research process, so there are some questions it's quite difficult to answer. Who buried it, why they buried it, um, what it was, are all things that we're still investigating. We can at least now say that there are something like 4,000 objects, fragments of objects, or very, very tiny broken fragments in the hoard, um, which sounds enormous, but the whole thing would fit in a, a supermarket shopping bag, which will give you an idea about how small some of those, those 4,000 fragments are. We don't know why the hoard was buried just out of Litchfield. Um, lots of people have theories. The honest truth is I don't think we'll ever know. What we can agree is that the objects were never going to be used again. The swords certainly would never function again. But we also have objects that we have never seen before, so it's adding to the corpus of material, even if we're not quite sure what they are. Choosing the ten objects was, was very difficult. They are perhaps some of the most iconic objects and in other cases, perhaps the most enigmatic. The hoard presents um, almost a countless array of uh, different objects that we could have chosen. Many, many of them are, are unique, and each object on its own, ordinarily, would, would represent a, a fantastic find. Really, the idea is to try and give a, a taster, uh, to, to give an idea of the range of material that there is, the, the kinds of questions and stories we'll be able to come out with from the hoard. The, the hoard has still got a lot to teach us. We are still learning things all the time. We're, we're seeing pieces come together and suddenly we're seeing them in a new light. Some objects that we're showing really show the level of detail and the craftsmanship and expertise that the Anglo-Saxons had. So we don't sort of see them in that dark age savages that I think they get mislabeled as. They were capable of making both technical and beautiful objects. These experts have selected 10 objects from the hoard, which they will use to explore symbolism in Anglo-Saxon England and to discuss the complex craftsmanship of the manufacturing process. These films will be released in coming weeks. To ensure you don't miss them, register for the free newsletter on our website. In September, a special issue of History West Midlands will focus on Anglo-Saxon Mercia and the hoard while a new permanent gallery will open at the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery in October. The Staffordshire Hoard is owned jointly by Birmingham City Council and Stoke-on-Trent City Council. <laughs>